Hello everybody, this is me, Savio, for Uber Gaming, and today it's going to be a nice short tutorial on how to install Essentials plugin for um, the Minecraft server. Now, Essentials is uh, probably one of the top plugins. It's a, a basic need for uh, any professional server because it just has all the commands you need, and it's really, really well made, and I just, I think it's really good. And yeah, basically we'll be going over um, how to install and what it each each package does. So if you go on the main thread, link will be in the description. It just tells you a little bit of information. If you go down here, it says download an installation guide, and this will just give you all the links for all the uh, different packages. So we have the main essential jar that will just give you um, messages of the day, rules, kits, time the general stuff, I, you have to have this one installed. Easy Protect is uh, like a um, griefing alert system. It'll tell you when people have placed down uh, certain objects. Essentials Help just uh, shows you all the commands for help. It's um, It doesn't go by group permissions, it just shows you all the Essentials commands, but if you're using um, like permissions, it, it doesn't really work for that, but yeah, I guess essentials telly, and that just gives you um, better teleport commands like teleport, override, teleport, accept, and that sort of stuff. Essentials ban that's for um, kicking, banning, kicking all that sort of thing, ban IP, just general stuff for mods and admins. Essentials god. Um, this gives you the god command and heal command, the god command makes you invincible and the heal command makes uh, your health go back up essentials home this uh, oops, sorry. This uh, has home and set home, this is just a general home thing uh, to plug in so people can teleport to their home essentials spawn um, this um, is just a general spawn and set spawn so people can go back to the spawn point this is where they die um, essentials warp similar to the set home except you can set a name to it so set warp uh, hotel and then you can warp to the hotel it just has an address and anyone can walk to it uh, essentials chat it's like um, iChat it basically puts a prefix and suffix which from the permission file in front of the user when they talk, it's pretty cool. And finally, essentials update, which uh, just updates all the essentials when you need it. There are some more, but they're not listed on this page. So we're just going to click on the essentials just jar, and this page will show you all the all the commands each package gives you. So as you can see. Uh, Essentials main jar gives you the social message, message of the day, all the basic stuff. Um, Essentials help gives you help command. Essentials economy gives you economy commands, teleport, and etc. And so you want to look at these before you install each one because, as it, as it says here, um, they conflict with commands. So if you have, for instance, my warp installed, you might not want the essentials warp because um, it conflicts with the other plug. And uh, you just have to check to make sure you haven't got each one installed. Okay, it's pretty, pretty neat right then. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download the whole lot. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. So I'll explain this. This is a online YML parser. Um, with essentials, um, there are some config files and they are written in YML, YML which is a, a user-friendly um, way of storing data and whatever, basically, and it's very um, case sensitive, so not case sensitive, space sensitive and uh, right, it's downloaded now and we'll use this later so I've got my Minecraft server here 
the overnight plugins. So I've already installed permissions because permissions is necessary for this. And if we're going to open up Target, we can see all the ones we want. So I just want uh, everything except from updates. I'm going to have update as well. Except from server list, protect. I don't. I don't want the group managers at the moment because I've got permissions. But you can alternatively use the group managers. But um, for this tutorial, most people use permissions, so I'm going to use that. Don't want economy because yeah. And yeah, that's that. That would be for up for now. So I'm going to drag those in. Now you can choose whatever ones you like, uh, depending on your situation. But they're the ones I'm going to choose. So they're all done. Now if you go on command reference. It shows you all the permission nodes for each of the things. So, for instance, if I open up the My Permissions file, I put myself in admin so I have all commands. And I'm going to give default the ability to message. So, I'm going to copy this node and using spacebar, I'm going to punch in the essentials.message node for this default class. Oops, and I'm going to save that. Now this is why I said about the what online one buffer. So if you want to copy that to here and then convert YML, if this has no errors like it has now, then you've done it right. However, if, for instance, if I get rid of a space here, it comes up an error and it tells you which line it is. So I can fix that, and it's just generally a good way to check. I think. And I always open up in something other than Notepad, I would suggest as well, because um, I use WordPad for instance, or you can use Notepad++ because it has a nice feature for YML. So all that's installed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start the server. That's to create a new world. And let me just create a new world. About the weights. So there we, we can see all the plugins have been uh, enabled. First of all, being permissions, and then all the uh, other essentials commands. So essentials bear, essentials god, or whatever. You also notice that the essentials folder has been created, and here we have some uh, YML files as well. Item CVS, CSV, and. You want to open the config. This is the main uh, essential thing, so we can toggle stuff. Um, for instance, the on stack size. I don't like it being 64. I'm going to change it to one. And this is as well in YML, so you can copy it across to check you haven't failed typing it in. So yeah, the default stack size is now one. So I'm going to stop the server. So um, I've given up myself all the commands, so I'm going to start the server app. Login. Uh, it's a bit laggy, but it should be fine. And if you notice, I type in um, give samkio tnt. It gives me one of tnt instead of 64. Which is uh, pretty cool. And I have, of course, all the commands like god and whatever. And that's a spawn error because I'm not a knock. Now one other thing I, I like to show because I just think it's pretty cool is um, we open up this and we go down to where it says um, nether. We're going to enable, set that to true and uh, I want portals to be able to go there as well so I'm going to treat that as well. Now, if I go and start it up again, oh, of course, I have to prepare the nether world. While I'm waiting, I'll show you this. Um, there are some stuff on this. Um, here is the rules. What happens when people say rules? This is the message of the day. You can change this, and this is quite important. Um, these are commands that are just available to no, not even admin. So, for instance, nickname. Um, I know I enabled that on my server, and 
yeah, all the admins kind of abused it, not mentioning any names. So yeah, that's why it's there in the table commands. These are restricted commands. Um, yeah, and they're, they're kits, and then you have all the other ones essential economy. That's in the chat, and you can change those to have however you need. So that's now loaded. So I'm in. So I can type world nether and it'll teleport me to the nether world which is uh, funky and that concludes today's tutorial thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if I helped you and uh, tune in for more videos related to Minecraft and whatever so, yeah, thanks, bye